Before this video starts, I wanted to explain that I've been filming this for over a year, using it in different situations, um, during powder, power outages, or just having fun with it. I started filming about a year ago, and stopped today. And I bought this um, Yeti solar generator about a year and a half ago. So, enjoy. Welcome to Survival Theory. Have you ever been doing this? All right, now you all know the words. Let's hold hands and sing together. When you'd rather be doing that? Well, thanks to the Goal Zero Yeti 1400, you can do that. Let's go talk about it. Roger that. No one in my area has power. They've, everyone's run out of a fuel for the generators. Most people have gone to the camps. You know, no power for 10 days. Nationwide, that's going to happen. I'm going to try to hold out and not go to the camps as long as possible. No, I don't have any fuel for generators here. All right, well, good luck to you. All right. Poor people. Alright, here we are in another real life situation. The power is out. But I'm using, I've been using this to run some lights, uh, charge my phone. I'm actually editing this video right now. I'm trying to get it ready. And then the power went out, so... But that didn't stop me. I've got this Yeti 1400. Keep on ticking. If it stays out for much longer, I will hook up the refrigerators again and get those charged up to the correct temperature. Then I'll set it outside and start charging up with the solar panels. But for now, keep on going. I just ran this Yeti 1400 three weeks without charging it, running lights at night. And it got it down to 85% after three weeks. So that's pretty good. I mean, the lights don't take very many watts, you know, using those energy efficient bulbs. So it lost 15% power in three weeks, you know, lighting up at night. That, that's pretty good. Okay, this time it's not a test. This is for real. We had bad thunderstorms last night and early in the evening power went out and it's now the next day getting close to lunchtime. The power is still out and so I'm running the battery and charging up this refrigerator and then running an extension cord and charging up the other refrigerator. So I'm keeping two refrigerators going. Now these are energy sucking refrigerators so that battery is not going to last forever. Uh, but once they get stabilized, that refrigerator was stabilized and now I'm charging the other refrigerator and it's stabilized. So now I'm going to take this and run it outside, charge it up with some, some solar panels. So it's actually working. You know, it kind of reminds me, last night, uh, I could hear some generators running. And it let me know exactly who had power, who had food to protect, who was still at home, 
It was quite interesting. Uh, listening to the generators last night. I could hear one down the street. I could hear one next door. So I knew exactly who was doing what just based off the generators. And that's why I like this battery. It's quiet. Nobody knows. I can charge it somewhere quietly. I can charge it quietly while I'm running an extension cord or I can bring it in here and run something at night. I like it. Generators are great but this battery is stealth and it doesn't require fuel. Just some sunlight to recharge it. Of course I can plug it into the wall and recharge it but when you're using it you don't have power presumably so and that light right there uses that it came with not came with but that gold zero light there can run for months and months with plenty of light and hardly even tap the energy in this battery so as far as lighting charging up your refrigerator recharging the battery I charged my phone last night, um, so it's really paying off to have this. I like it. So what I'm not doing in this video is I'm not going to give you all the specs on the Yeti 1400 because I'm not necessarily trying to sell you on this. What I'm trying to do is give you some examples of how I've used a battery when the power was out or I just wanted to take it outdoors and have some fun with it. Or put it to use like when I was building that shed so you got to do your research on your needs before you buy the battery you know can you get away with getting a three or four hundred dollar battery or do you need up to you know the six grand battery it's really just dependent on your needs this goal zero Yeti 1400 lists for about 1800 bucks but I got it a lot less at Costco and they've got a Goal Zero Yeti 3000 for about 3000 bucks, And of course, you know, something like a Titan or a Kodiak, six, seven grand. So you just have to look at your needs, the cost, and uh, <clears throat> what you can afford, what you need it for, things like that. So the power's been out three or four hours. I'm in the survival room here, catching up on the world news, seeing what's going on. I'm getting some work done, which is very important today. And I've got internet because of the battery. Run an extension cord to power my laptop and to power the routers. It's DSL, so I'm good to go. No problem. Getting some work done. Uh, uh, subtle change. Well, it's later in the day. The power's still out, but I'm all right. You know, I got my Yeti. So, thanks for watching Survival Theory. Please share, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.